Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make search in Laravel. So here you can see we show some data over here. So we are going to have a search option at the top just before this table. And if you click on the search button, write something in search button, it will show us that specific search. So uh, for it, let's go back to our code and make the search. So here you can see that uh, we are currently in the order.grade.php and here you can see all orders and here you can see that table over here which is the this one here you can see all orders and this table so after this all orders we are going to have a search option so for it here we are going to mention a div and inside this div we'll have a form and inside this form we are going to mention two input field first one will be for input type text and name equal to it will be search and let's say over here we we'll say placeholder it will be search for something and after it we are going to have another input field and that will be for submit button so input type it will be submit and we do not require name uh instead of name we we'll say over here value let's say value will be search and we'll also mention a bootstrap class let's say class will be btn btn uh, it will be btn btn outline primary so currently if we save it then if we now refresh here here you can see we have a search option over here and uh, let's have this search option in the middle and let's also have some gap uh, in the bottom so for it here you can notice that we uh, declare a div option i mean div tag over here so here we are going to say here style so inside this style we are going to say margin it will be auto and we'll say here padding bottom it will be 30 px save it right now let's refresh okay margin auto did not work so let's say over here padding left it will be let's say 400 px now save it let's refresh okay so it's now currently in the middle so what we want is that if we search something and click this submit but uh, search button it will show us that specific search over here so for it here you can see we mentioned a form over here so inside this form we are going to mention action then we'll see over here method method will be get not post the method will be get for search because we want to get some data depending on the search and here we need to mention the at the end of csrf token so inside this action we are going to give two second bracket then we'll see over here url to first bracket to single quotation and let's say over here the url name will be search let's save it and let's go to our route and create this url so we'll go to our route then web.php and uh, let me just copy a route from here control c and control v so over here our method will get because we mentioned over here method is get then here we need to mention our url which is search and let's say our uh, function name will be let's say search data you can uh, make the function name anything let's just go with search data so let's copy it and right now we'll go to our admin controller and create this search data function so let me go to app http controller then admin controller and we'll just directly go down and here i'm going to say public function search data will give to first bracket and inside it we are going to say request dollar request then we'll give to second bracket over here and inside it first of all we need to get the search text from here here you can see name equal to search and uh, whatever we write over here we need to get it so for it uh, here let's declare a variable let's over here c a r c a search text equal to we'll say dollar request this arrow sign and we'll say over here search so this search will come from here name equal to search and right now before we write any more code here you can see that we are showing a lot of data over here and for showing that data we are showing those data from the order.blade.php and for showing that data we use this for each loop so here you can see inside this for each loop we have dollar order as dollar order and using this dollar order we are showing all the data over here that you are seeing so here uh, you can see that inside this for each loop we have this first dollar order and whatever you have in the for each loop the first one you have to declare it over here the same thing so we are going to say over here dollar order equal to 
then we are going, we need to mention the table name for this and here the table name for this is order so here we are going to mention the table name which is order then we'll give double clone then here we want to search the data let's say we want to search the data by the user name here you can see name so and in the database here you can see we have name right name like this name so here we are going to say order where we'll give two first bracket then we'll give two single quotation and we are going to say here name and this name will come from the database it needs to match with the database here you can see name then we'll give a comma over here then we'll give another single quotation and we are going to say over here like it will be a capital then another comma and this time we'll give two double quotation then we'll give two percentage over here and inside this part percentage here you can see we declare a variable or uh, dollar search text and we store whatever the user search over here over here whatever the user search over here we store in this search text variable so here we are going to say search text then we'll give this arrow sign then we saw our here get to first work so let me just explain uh, so here we are getting the search and uh, we are checking whether that specific search text is matched with the name in the order table and after it we we'll saw our here return view to first bracket to single quotation and here you can see that this order.blade.php is inside the admin folder admin admin folder so it will be admin dot order then we'll give a comma over here then we saw over here compact to first bracket to single quotation and here we are going to mention this order control c control v and give a semicolon over here so let's save it and let me just refresh here and let's write something over here let's say here uh, is writing over here yamin so let's write here yamin okay we cannot see the text because the background and text color both of them is white that's why but the search still should work so if i click search right now here you can see it only showing me the yamin text so let's fix this search option uh, we cannot see the text so for it let's go to our order.blade.php and here this is the input field for the search so here i am just going to say style uh, color it will be black let's save and let's refresh and here is of yamin let's say this time user let's press enter and here you can see we can see all the user over here and if i just click normally uh, without writing anything if i click search it will show me all the data over here so here you can see khan and shakil let's try with shakil press enter here you can see shakil but uh, what if you want to search using name phone number and let's say product title how we can do it that is actually really simple uh, let's go to our admin controller again and here you can see that where name like search text so how we are going to do is that let me just remove this get we will require this but for now let's just remove it so after this uh, if you want to search by multiple things like phone and product title for it what you have to do is that you need to give another arrow sign then you need to say over here or capital w h e r e where then let me just copy the whole thing from here control c then control v so here instead of name it will be phone so let me just check it in that table here we write phone like this so we will say over here phone and like it will be search text and then again if you want to search the search it by the product title then again just copy this control c then control v and here you can see phone and we want to search it by product title and we write product title like this product underscore title in the table so here we are going to say product underscore title then we need to give this arrow sign k to first bracket so let's try to search it again uh, let's refresh 
and let's try to uh, search by the product title here you can see necklace uh, this is the necklace so let me copy it let's paste it here and click search and here you can see you can only see the necklace let's show our here shirt press enter so here you can see the shirt now let's search by phone number let's say we'll search by this phone number click search okay you can see only that specific phone number so everything works so right now let's just say you uh, enter random things and press enter so that random thing doesn't exist so what we can do is that we can show that the data doesn't exist text over here so for it uh, what we can do is that uh, we will go to our order.bread.php and here uh, here you can see our for each loop started over here and it ended over here so what we can do is that we can use at the rate of empty empty tag uh, i mean this empty function but in order to use empty function we cannot use uh, for each loop instead of for each loop we need to use for else but for each and for else both are uh, the same but for else let us use empty tag okay let me just show you uh, if i use uh, empty tag for the for each loop it will give us a error so if i now save it then if i now refresh here it will give us an error and here you can say unexpected error uh, for each expected else if uh, blah 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 so uh, instead of instead of uh, for each we are going to use for else and the end will be uh, instead of for uh, in for each it will be for in for else and here uh, for empty will give div and inside this div let's say here a p tag and let's say no data found if there is no data then it will come to this and if the data exists then it will not come over here okay so save it let's refresh and here it says no data found okay let's write something okay let's write random things click search okay no data found but i want to show that uh, over here after the table so what you can do is we'll mention the tr tag and inside tr we'll say over here td and inside td let's say no data found and inside this td we are going to say something called call span and call span will be let's say 16 so let's save it let's let's uh, refresh again and here you can see no data found text over here let's search user click search okay it is showing me the user and if i search for random things click search it shows no data found so yeah this is how you can search in laravel and and i hope this tutorial was useful to you uh, so if you like this video then please subscribe to this channel i will actually really appreciate it so thanks for watching stay tuned and stay healthy